great party, what a great weekend. We're, we're all so fortunate to be here. Thank you very much. Sure. As the 13th and final groomsman, I'm honored <laughs> and shocked to be here. <laughs> Two years from today, Ramsey's head on our roof and he says, you are absolutely, unsolicited, he tells me, you are absolutely not in my uh, wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, right? But thank you so much. I have no idea what, what prompted that, but thank you very much. I'm honored to be here. <laughs> I will certainly be uh, brief as there is uh, far more capable people of uh, roasting Ramsey here. I don't want to take up any time. And again, I'm the 13th groom. <laughs> um, I've had the honor of graduating aside uh, Ramsey, Trinity College. We took that place to its knees, scholastically. <laughs> scholastically. <laughs> In addition, I had the pleasure of uh, being his roommate in New York. He decided to stop being a recluse and join society. He lived on his own, working from home, and uh, I don't think he saw a person for weeks. Uh, it was great to have you. Um, from the first uh, Ramseyism you, you may hear, you are immediately introduced to his passion for anything, whether it be the deli sandwiches, the Chicago Bears, 17th round draft pick, or a hand-free paper towel dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> he is convinced he is aligned with greatness. <laughs> he gets a 250-yard drive, well, it's 320. <laughs> if you order Mexican food from a menu underneath the, the, uh, the door, it's a James Beard award-winning Feast. <laughs> Whatever it is, Ramsey is passionate, um, but with such passion and conviction comes a lot of disappointment. <laughs> For example, the Bears, the Knicks, his physique, <laughs> and any other girl that has ever that he's ever tried to talk to prior to Andy. <laughs> <laughs> when he first told me that he met the hottest, coolest girl at the wedding, I immediately dismissed it. Because I had every other Ramsey story I'd ever heard. <laughs> had the I sell toilet paper for a living line actually worked? <laughs> Is a girl possibly so naive? <laughs> Perhaps lonely. I don't know. <laughs> As cute and as funny as it may be, <laughs> the girl would eventually have to go on a second date and found out that this was actually true. <laughs> well, two years and an endless amount of hangovers later, I can validate the only true statement Ramsey has ever made in his life. She likely was the coolest, hottest chick at the wedding. <laughs> perfect for each other. As, as, as soon as you're amongst both of them, you're immediately consumed by the energy and passion that both of them share. For life, for each other, it's, it's great. So happy for you both, and Annie, if I could teach you anything, don't believe a single word that he says. If he says he ran 10 miles, he ran 6. <laughs> If he says the Philly cheesesteak was amazing, it's mediocre. If he, say, if he says the Bears are money, this year they will have six wins. The only thing you can believe about this man's mom is that Parisi is the best deli in Manhattan, and that he loves you more than anything else in the world. I love you both. Cheers. Continue the roasting while we're, while we're doing, while we're doing it. Um, 
My name is Matt Weissman. I've actually known Ramsey since uh, sixth grade. Matt, wow. Oh, come where am I? Here. In this, in this that you're where would you like me? <laughs> <laughs> right here? If you don't mind. Right through the door. Keep walking. I have time. Keep walking straight. There's a mess. There's a mess. There's a mess. There's a mess. Um, so I was saying, I've known Ramsey since uh, sixth grade, actually. We both went to Rye Country Day School together. <laughs> Uh, grew up as sheltered as possible. Um, but I want to talk about a few things that have uh, that have changed about Ramsey. Uh, well, before I do that, I want to talk about the, the few things that haven't. And, and the first would be, you know, I would tell you, uh, knowing you since you were 11 years old, your three favorite things are still roast beef, sports, and cheap clothes. <laughs> so hoping that. <laughs> Improve on any of those three. Uh, no, but all kidding aside, I, I, we got we got a hundred people to, to, that won the toast tonight or roast. So I thought I would just tell one quick story. Um, there's they're very hard to choose from because you're you're you're, you're material. Um, your one thing that I remember the most, or I love about you the most, is your negotiating skills. <laughs> You're a big proponent of, you know, he's a self-proclaimed master negotiator. And I remember eight or nine years ago, uh, we were living in Boston and he had been driving this old Ford Explorer that had every bit of 300,000 miles on it. <laughs> barely, barely started, no, no doors closed, smoked, I mean, like, it just, like, it was about to fall apart. Anyone who ever took a, a, a ride in and lived to tell about it was a fortunate person. But <laughs> Ramsey didn't let any of those facts bother him. We decided to go car shopping one Saturday afternoon. So we go to the dealership, and Ramsey had found this car that he really liked. He asked me earlier in the day to go with him and just keep quiet, which is very hard for me to do, and, and just sit there and help him just kind of overpower, just negotiate this, this, uh, this car sale. So we get there, he's, you know, he sees his car that he likes it, so I don't think it was like the Mazda 323 or 626 or whatever it was. Solid. Nice, nice, nice car. <laughs> and, um, you know, he starts sitting down with the, 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 the car dealer and he says, he says, okay, well, you know, what were you looking to spend? And Ram said, well, Ram said, well, listen, you know, before we even talk about that, I heard you guys do, you do trade-ins here. You know, I'd like you to go out and take a look at this car that I drove in. It's pretty special. So the guy says, okay, I'll, I'll go out and take a look at it. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in the office, and Rams is still there, and Rams like, he's going to like the car, he's going to like the car. And I'm like, being quiet, I'm like, I think there's like 300,000 miles in the car, and he's going to like it. He goes out, comes back, kind of, Rams kind of nudges me, he's like, watch this. The guy sits down and says, all right, what do you want for the car? Rams is like, oh, you tell me. The guy said, I'll give you $100 for it. <laughs> $100. <laughs> And, and Rams just like, it's a car. <laughs> it's a car. The guy's like, yeah, I know. It's a car that has two touch miles on it. I couldn't start it. The doors don't work. But the best part about Ramsey is he just doesn't let any sort of facts get in the way. <laughs> when he's got his mindset on something, it's just he's going to make it happen. So we just sat there in what I would describe as the 10 most awkward moments of my life. <laughs> Sitting there with this guy in this small room, and Ramsey is just staring this guy down. There's no problem. And I'm not kidding. There were no words said. It was just in a little table, in a little car salesman room. Finally, the guy concedes a little bit, says, I'll give you $200 for it. <laughs> Ramsey goes, done. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how you get them up, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, As far as the here and now, I've never seen you as happy as you are with Andy. I love you both. I'm very happy for you both. Everyone raise a glass. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Andy. Yeah. Andy and Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.